Today I'm going to show you how to clean your puzzle and box it back up. So first thing I use is Pledge and I only use Pledge because it doesn't damage the puzzle. If you just lightly spray it on there, you'll be fine. And it cleans up my wooden table here. I'm picking up the puzzle carefully. Yay! Some puzzles, um, you won't be able to do this, so I would just try to clean it off as much as possible. I clean the back too because sometimes hair and puzzle dust gets stuck in there. And if you wipe it like that, you'll be able to pull the hair out both sides. Definitely. I thought this was pretty cool that I was able to pick it up. And it's a Seiko puzzle. A lot of times you can't do this with the Seiko puzzle. I thought it was pretty cool. This is one of the better Seiko puzzles. There are different levels of them. So here I'm trying to break apart the puzzle carefully. Um, it's taking a little bit of time. Oops. But you do want to be careful because you don't want to bend any of the little heads of the pieces. Hmm, it took a while. Okay, so I have the bag that I um, bought it in. I just kind of slit the top with some scissors. And um, I'm just carefully putting it in the bag. Now, when I took the puzzle pieces out, I dusted out the bag so there weren't too much puzzle dust in there. So I'm just picking them up, throwing them in there, hopefully not dropping any. Okay, we're safe. So I tape up the bag. clean the table again because, I don't know, maybe I'm a little OCD, I just don't want puzzle dust all over everything that I work with. So now I get the original box. It did come with a poster since the box is so small. I think all puzzles should come with a poster, but that's just me. Carefully put the puzzle pieces back in there trying not to force anything because you could damage the pieces inside. And there you go. Puzzle. Just like new. Thanks for watching.